Hello there. As some of you may know, I competed in my first powerlifting meet a little bit over two weeks ago. It was a USAPL meet and I had a great time and it really solidified for me that powerlifting is something that I would like to train for and invest more of my time in. So this meet was something that I had in mind for quite a while and I had wanted to compete in a meet as a graduation present to myself and I am really happy that I committed to it and got to test out the time on the platform and see what that was like and I didn't get much footage of the actual meet because I really wanted to spend my time enjoying the experience and I didn't want to burden anyone with camera duties and I just wanted to focus on that time, live in every single moment, just kind of soak it all in. And I did get one little clip that I'll show at the end of my second attempt at deadlifts and that was when I got to hit my what I thought was my lifetime goal PR for deadlifts and so now I get to set new goals. So this is some footage from training leading up to the meet. I switched up my training quite a bit um, especially with technique work because I realized that when I pushed my weight up past certain points I could notice some form breakdowns and for squats in particular I utilized different camera angles to make sure I was hitting depth because I typically train alone and one of my concerns going into the meet was whether or not I'd be able to hit depth so another purpose for this meet for me was to make sure that I was performing the lifts correctly since I've mainly been going by what's in the rule book and video footage of other people that I see lifting and training for powerlifting. The overhead press has been one of my favorite shoulder movements and it's something that I incorporated after bench on some days or on a shoulder day. So it's something that I feel like really helps with shoulder mobility, just practicing going through that range of motion with your body, having that awareness, and I think it does contribute to keeping your shoulders balanced. So if you're benching a lot and pushing forward, I think it does help to get some overhead motions in there. And another mo movement, whoa there, that I feel like has really helped is the bent over row. And that's something that I think has a great carryover to the deadlifts and I feel like it helps with just overall back strength and I use it as a measure actually to gauge my posterior and anterior development because I figure if my bench is going up I should also be able to row at least equivalent if not more weight so these days I'm rowing about my body weight. I'm benching a little bit over that, but I realize that the bench is more sport specific and the rowing is more of an accessory exercise for me. So I'm not that concerned about rowing 200 pounds, let's say for example. So back to the bench, one of the things that I focused on for this prep was making sure that I kept my glutes, gluteus, glutei, glutes on the bench. And that was something that I did not have trouble with at the meet. However, I did not get my third attempt bench because I re-racked the weight before I was told to. I got really excited. I was attempting 83, no, 80, 2.5 kilos which is 181.9 pounds and I got the weight up and I just got really excited and I had not practiced with the bench command as much as I should have and so I re-racked the weight 
and that's something that kind of comes back to haunt me a little bit. I'm not too bothered by it because it was my first meet and I know from now on I won't make that mistake again, but a great learning experience nonetheless. For squats, one of the issues that I had during training was pitching my body forward a bit um, while coming back up from the bottom of the squat and I noticed that that contributed to some headaches and so recording the footage and going back and seeing what was going wrong really helped so I worked on fixing that later on and haven't had as many frequent neck flare-ups as I have since I've gone back to fix that and so that's something that I thought I would share. And this is a clip from my second attempt at deadlifts. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for your support throughout the last few years throughout this prep. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Today is May 31st. I just sent out in the mail my application for getting a license in California. Not a driver's license, although I may look like it. It's for my pharmacist license and what else? The Warriors won game seven yesterday, which is really important. And in one week we are leaving to go to Washington. And this came in the mail today. I hope they spell my name right. You put your I hope they spelled my name right. Oh, here is that piece of paper. It's a little hard to read. Oh, doctor. Oh, Mich. <laughs> doctor <laughs> Michelle. Doctor yeah. of pharmacy. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Very nice. Good job. Thanks. Who's your friend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a baby. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm actually more speechless than I thought I would be. First, I didn't realize this would be so hard to read. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be, um, yeah, I actually didn't expect this to come so soon because a lot of processes with school take so long. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think at first I didn't want to go to my graduation because it seems like such a far trip mm -hmm. and especially because Andrew is graduating right mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. and I felt like I had already done the college graduation walk and experience and I didn't really want to go all the way back and have the whole family fly there but I think the ceremony actually means a lot because it's kind of like putting an end yeah. to mm -hmm. this whole journey and mm -hmm. Sometimes, um, because of my odd scheduling, like right now I'm just studying, mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, like what am I doing with my life? Because it's only been a few months since rotations, and before that I was kind of going like full yeah. steam ahead. And sometimes I actually like don't remember in the morning that I've accomplished some things <laughs> before, you know, like this yeah. life of just studying all the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's been quite an adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For your compared with ten years before, you have changed a lot and accomplished a lot in your in the past ten years. Yeah, and I see the world a lot differently. Yeah.